Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be learning about an innovative AI based platform for the EPA testing. So let's begin. Nowadays, we are hearing so much about the APIs because APIs are the backbone of the most of the applications we are using these days. And the reason is that they are used to connect the system and it enables the communication. Now, when we're talking about the APIs, because we are now heavily relying on the APIs, so APIs must function as expected. So as a testers, we need to ensure that APIs are functioning as expected. These, they are reliable, fast and secure as well. If this is not the case, the users will face a problems on the application. Now, if we go to the back days, initially we used to do a manual testing of the APIs. So we need to test manually the data, response scores, the endpoints, the headers, everything we need to test manually. And for example, if you are working on an application and there are hundreds of the APIs, and if there's any kind of a change in the APIs, we need to do a lot of regression manually. Then here automation comes in and we start automating the APIs. Now, as things are evolving day by day and we are hearing uh, AI a lot of these days. And in terms of software testing and API testing, recently when I was doing my research, I found a very good platform in terms of testing the API using the AI. So what if I tell you, we just need to provide the API details to the platform and rest all that will be done by the platform itself. It will analyze the API, it will generate the test cases, it will execute the test cases, it will generate the report. All done by the AI. So let me show this platform and the platform is known as Kusho AI. So let me show you, let's go to the browser here. And here you need to type kusho.ai and this is a platform. Simply click on try to show AI and it will redirect us to the page for the sign up. Uh, let me go to my email here and this is the email I'm using. So let me copy my email and let me go back to the platform. Just provide the email, create your account or simply you can continue with your Google. Eventually it will send a code to the email. So let me go here and refresh my page here and you see that we get an email for the verification code let's go here and this is a code just copy this code from here and go back to the platform here provide this one and click continue now we need to set a password let me set a password for this one simply and once we have set the password click continue so user will be set up successfully on the Kusho AI and it will redirect us to the dashboard. So let me show you the features we are getting from the Kusho AI. So basically you see that we have input methods. Let me just close these ones. And so basically there are different input methods so we can provide the APIs in a different formats. So for example, if I go here, so you will see that we can directly enter the API details if I click on this one. So simply you need to select the method, then the endpoint. If there are some headers, you need to provide the headers. Then if there are any parameters, you need to provide the power parameters, QD parameters, everything which is required, you just need to provide. So this is the one way to provide an input to this particular platform. Rest, what you can do is that simply if I go here, you can use or import the open ai specification also you can import the postman collection you can import the curl command as well if you don't have any apis and you just want to explore the platform simply go here and click on try sample apis it will take you to some sample apis you can use this apis and see how this platform is working and the easiest way is that we should directly provide the API collection for the postman. So simply what I'll do is that for this tutorial, just go to the home again here, go to the input methods. But before that, let me show you that we have environment section where you, where you can set the environments, variables, you can group the suit, you can see the documentation. So there are a lot of stuff you can do here. And you can also do the CI CD pipelines end to end testing, which is right now in the beta, but I will really like to see this particular feature because nowadays we need to do an end-to-end -end test for the APIs. For example, you're hitting the login API, it will give you a token, you need to extract a token and pass to the 
subsequent request and make a complete change which we usually call it as a api chaining as well okay so i'm i'm right now not showing this feature once it will be available completely then we will see this particular feature now simply go to the inputs here and i will go with the this postman here this is the easiest way either you can copy paste whole uh, json file or you can provide the file here so i have already opened the postman here simply this is my collection and it has one api and if i just click on send we will get the response so response is 200 and we are getting the particular trace over here so this is a sample api i'm using here what i will do is that simply go to this three dots here and i will export this collection so click on export and then export and i will be saving it on my desktop and once it will be there what i will do is that i will simply go to my desktop here you will see this is a file either you can provide the file directly or you can open this one and select all copy all and go back to this platform here which is kusho ai and provide this and once you have provided this thing just click on next it will analyze your api collection and it will tell you how many apis are there in this particular collection right now we have only one api so we simply select this one click on next it will extract every information from here and once it has extracted all the information then just click on generate now it will generate everything for you so we just need to go to this test suite generation status page and here it will be generating the test for your api though it is saying that four minutes are remaining but i have observed that it is taking less than the time they are mentioning here so simply refresh this one and here still in the progress and if you want to learn more about the platform the documentation is available here just click on this one and meanwhile let me go to the, my email here as well so as soon as you start working on this one you will get the welcome email from the platform itself and you will get some information over here how to try this one there's information about the slack channel and everything and simply you will see that we are getting information about our test source okay so it says completed and 16 test cases are generated for this one that's cool so simply go back to the platform and just refresh this one you will see that the other tests are ready and it says completed just click on this one and just click on again this one you will get the information about the generated test suite and in order to run this test suite you need to install their chrome extension or the browser extension so simply open this one and here click on add to chrome add extension and once it will be added go back to the platform just refresh and this particular warning message will be removed from the here and now we are good to go and you see that they have generated the test cases so either you can run all you can run the selected ones and as soon as we start executing that once we will see the status score and details over here so now this is a particular api with a parameter page parameter and here they are testing with the large positive numeric value for the parameter so really just click on this one so you see that here they are sending a page as a thousand parameter so it's trying to access a page thousandth page right so this is this particular test case is doing and here we have assertions we have response and the results of the assertions here right so simply uh, just click on run all it will run all of the test cases you see that all the different test cases either it's a positive it's a negative test cases they have generated okay and you will see that we are getting the information over here the status code 200 and this is the response we are getting and right now we don't have any assertions but the good thing is that as this is ai this platform you don't need to write each and every session just go to generate using the ai it second in seconds you will get all the sessions here and this is not a limit if you think that there are some sessions which you should add you can simply add here because 
they are using the chai assertion expect statements to write the assertions to verify now i'm just clicking on save and run again you will see that this time we will be getting the assertion results here you see that we are getting this pass 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 so let me intentionally fail any of these assertions and see the failure over here and for example this page number should be a number so i will say it should be a string so i'm intentionally failing this one say this and run this one now this particular test case should fail and it should be marked over here so you see that this particular test case is failed so once your execution is done everything is done now you can generate a report from here also if you want to add the test using the payload you can use the payload and you can add the test you can also set the variables if you want you have a workbench over here and the good thing is that let's go to generate report and you can generate report via download or you can send it to the email so let me copy my email again and let's get this information on the email let me copy this one and go back here and provide the email and send email and also in some cases you know that we need to add the pre scripts before our api request so you can from here you can go and add the pre scripts so let's go to the email here and let's see let me refresh this one still we haven't received the email let's refresh this one again and again so let me send the email again so this is the email let me check if email is correct there's no spaces send email again so it says make sure to execute at least one test case okay which we executed and because we know that we have this particular field over here and you see that we got the test suit report here it says one field and it highlighted that it got failed and we got this particular assertion error now when i was looking into this particular report report is can be improved because uh, this is a very high level report we need more information to solve what is uh, cause of the failure logs and any other information we can be useful for fixing or debugging the apis so this particular area i think this needs to be improved and secondly the the end-to-end -end testing which is the important and core of you know testing the apis uh, which is still in the particular end-to-end -end beta so i'm just waiting for this one and once this will be available so i will create another tutorial and show you how this is working overall i like the idea and the concept behind this one and I personally want to see more in terms of the reporting and I'm also waiting for this end-to-end -end source to be available right now. It's a beta, but this is something which can be a game changer over here. So overall, it's a very good platform. Just go and try this one. And if you have any thoughts and comments, just go to the comment section and provide your thoughts and opinions about this particular platform. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.